Really? By having Gios, you're able to live. And yet, the same power that allows you to live in the world of men compels you to abide by a different set of rules. Act by a new logic. Move to its rhythms. Lead a different life. Be warned. The king's power may isolate you. Gios will be taken from those lacking resolve. However, for those that do have the resolve... I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's how things are. It's a small world. Even one zero is a little much. Ah, I thought I'd find you here. What are you doing? Two things, actually. First off, Lelouch, since you're back, it's clear zero should be you and you alone. Come on, I'm a placeholder. That's all I'll ever be. You're here in the flesh. What are we supposed to think? Don't say that. Ah, oh, that's Ogi's wedding reception. It was the first time we'd all been together since... Yes, she's a private citizen, so nobody keeps tabs on her. So Shirley recovered him. When things died down, she brought his body to a place Jeremiah set up. And, well, the idea was to reconstruct Lelouch and C's world, but as you can tell, he... What do you mean, reconstruct? The reason I can't die is because any defective body parts get replaced with ones designed and built in C's world. So it's like a mirror backup! Well, not exactly, but I suppose that's one way of looking at it. The problem now is that Lelouch effectively destroyed the god of that world. As a result, it's impossible for me to re-enter on my own. That is impressive. Is it stupid of me to ask where all the water's going? <sighs> okay, hey, no worries. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, then. You don't have to stare at me like a wounded animal. I was just trying to... C2, you sure you got this? Yes. Stay there and keep watch. On it. Miss Colin? Yeah? What do you need? Sounds like a plan. Wherever you are, Lelouch, come back. Sayoko! What are you doing bringing a nightmare down here? What happens if the prisoners get their hands on this? Did you think about... Oh, crap. Damn it. I'll buy some time. Keep an eye on C2 and Lelouch. I... I tried to tell you this before, but... I had assumed the worst of you, and it was wrong of me. You deserve better, and I'm sorry. Water under the bridge. Please. You don't have to carry it alone. I'm just as guilty as you. It's not right for you to have to bear the burden by yourself, and it never was. Let me share it with you. Zero, I vow that even with the Master on your side, you shall not defeat me. For when I die, I am destined to relive the past. Whatever move you make, I will foresee. Zilkstan will rise like a phoenix. My sister. I am here, Shalio. I long to be of use to this nation, and yet I am cursed to stand aside while you fight to protect it. But you're indispensable. Don't worry about me. No, I have to worry. The world is broken. But with the power of prophecy, things will be as they should. This again. I'd prefer you answer my questions first. We have Nanali, lest you forget. You're... you're a monster. Am I? Okay. If that's what it takes to become the world's greatest warrior, fine. I accept that. Protecting those dear to me requires strength. Quite a lot of it, actually. Unadulterated guile. Complete and total ruthlessness. All qualities you have. Yes, our data on you paints quite a picture, but it's hardly complete enough to satisfy me. Now then, what is your method? Educate me! For Nanali's sake! Highness, it is I, Forgnar. I've been given to understand King Shalio is in residence. Let him enter. Most gracious Majesty, word has reached me that my son Shestal has been slain. Is this true? My king, I beseech you for orders. The Federation dogs must pay. Please let me hunt down the Black Knights responsible and tear them limb from limb! Namjala Latak, your gift is our guide, Highness. Federation spies or users of Gias, the intruders can have only one of two objectives. We must bear that in mind while weighing our strategy. They either mean to gain the Temple of the Princess, or the Wailing Prison of Gimsura Plains. Indeed, where the hostages are being held. 
Should the United Federation of Nations obtain evidence in that regard, our region is subject to airstrike. He is, as usual, no doubt still conferring with him. Namjala Latak. As a proud son of the great and mighty Forgnar, I'll gladly acquaint the Federation of Nations with my superior genes. I'm afraid we can't have that. <gasps> you know, in this country, terrorists are publicly crucified. I feel for you. Not being able to tell your enemies from your allies? Blaze Luminous, I believe it was called? The moment you run out of energy, you'll be completely helpless. Where are you kids running off to? The fun's just starting. I'm honestly impressed you made it this far in that useless nightmare. And under the sway of my Gios, no less. Ha! Too bad it's all been for nothing! Sorry! All right, you animals. At least try to act civilized. How many intruders are we looking at? Say what? They don't even make a half a dozen. What the hell are they trying to accomplish? All we know is they're headed for the aquifer. Great, something down there for them to give a damn about? Just the temple from before the relocation. So they're probably casing all the lower floors. Right, plan. We let them make their way to the bottom level, then stamp them out like insects. Tell the elites to stand by and we'll try not to tear the place up too much. Don't be cute. His ass gets kissed enough. <laughs> Welcome back, young lady. May I ask what you're doing? Who are you? Next time you break into a man's castle, you really ought to do your research. <laughs> huh. Guess that clears up the main point. You're definitely the one we're looking for. Is it true immortality or what? Ho-ho! Oh, a complete Southern Cross! Should we try acid next or blow her up? Hey, don't worry. We're not gonna leave you guys out. Break their arms. Ah, <laughs> uh, all finished healing yourself, are ya? Why don't you and me cut a deal? You tell me what you're doing here, and I won't bring the roof down on everybody's head. Sound fair? Right. If you hadn't noticed, they're trying to eliminate us, which strengthens our case. Have you seen the news? Very interesting, I'd have to say. The we can talk team. about it later. I apologize. It wasn't my intention to bring you into this. For the time being. Look, this is the service center. The issue's source was more or less as we expected. We need to salvage a couple of parts and could use your help. Also, we've managed to find ourselves a new customer, so to speak. We'll need the sheet music for the Requiem, if you don't mind. I thought you were doing this for Suzaku. Oh, really? You say that so offhand. You seem like you know him inside out. Are you okay, Dr. Lloyd? It certainly has a neat smell. Sorry, ignore that, please! What do we do? We at least have to retrieve the data. What? What? No! This is Sam! We're doomed, so I guess it doesn't matter if the transmission's intercepted. Okay, out of your control. Fancy meeting you here. If you're wondering what we're up to in this wasteland, Prince Schneisel asked us to find Nanali and Zero. Ziltstan seemed the obvious place to start. Not to be that guy, but we need to disappear. So it's like a mirror backup. Now an infamous prison. The final home of political enemies. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Yes, yes, I know. Too bulky. Let's just say we stumbled on something that'll shake things up a little. All right, I don't know what you expect me to do, though. Huh, I suppose this is a rather good subject for scientific research. Have to explain. That's just the kind of person you are. I do? Uh oh. Did I make it too strong for you? I added in a dragon's breath chili and a splash of orange liqueur and a dash of cornstarch to give it body. That's the fresh durian zest. Wait, if Zero's plan has been anticipated like this, then it stands to reason fleeing by air would be an incredible risk. I'm all right. Just let me start the nightmare. Oh. I'm not so sure about Lelouch. But I'll put my faith in Zero. Okay. I doubted him once and it didn't go well for me. If I could do it all over again, I'd trust him. Appreciate it. We'll give him our best, right? <laughs> Lady Kaguya, she held on to this for you. Just in case you were still alive. Excuse me. Thank you, Zero. I... Uh, Japan wouldn't be what it is today without you. Please, consider this my apology. Stop. Lots of folks leaving the country, I see. I don't know. That's for history to decide. Sometimes you have to go with your gut and stumble through it. Tell 
host to my latest venture, Cafe Zero Two. Salute! I wouldn't call him apathetic. He just wasn't cut out for it, you know? Being one of the brass takes brass. Not his area of expertise. <laughs> so basically, the enemy outnumbers us by what? Yeah, 600 to 1? Yeah, we wouldn't stand a chance. That's crazy. We barely have enough supplies to go around. Same goes for me. I'm with Zero. Man's a miracle worker, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> Yo, Guilford, how's it going? <laughs> you stooping so low to make small talk with the rabble? Are you buzzing out bribes? No, no, I'm <laughs> simply showing my appreciation. <laughs> Those rats had sought their homeland for a few greasy coins. As a rule, I pay rumors no mind. But it seems the ones about you still kicking around were true. Hello, Lelouch. Suzaku. You're on the run from Zilkstan. Congratulations on making it to this little border town. Take it in. This is as far as you go. Turn around and leave, or die. Enough of your absurd talk! You will meet your end here again. We want Nanali's safe return as badly as you. But there are 12,000 enlisted soldiers protecting the capital. Our forces are only 20 strong if you count the civilians. I can spare a reconnaissance team to help you survey the field, but that's it. Take it or leave it. The fact we're even here is a tremendous risk. It would be far better to try the diplomatic route. Indeed, well said, your highness. No, no, I'm simply showing my appreciation. They have a right to survive. We can't fault them for that. Please excuse them, madam. They're being too familiar. I'm returning to zero. Too late? Nonsense. Well, it's now the first I'm hearing of this. Shouldn't we all have been apprised? Wait, no! You are not going in there alone. A contribution to the cause in our capacity as civilians. Jeremiah Gottwald, sir. It's both a pleasure and an honor. Oh, the lady is Anya Austrian. No. Of course. It's the least we could do to show our support for Lelouch. This can't be! Harlord's plan was... Ah, yes, there you are, my lord. I was worried. What? Disappointed CIT. You're lying in wait. I'm falling back. Charmed, I'm sure. Nice to meet you. Am I too late? Oh, dear. Not the least. Jerry would be quite upset if anything happened. Ogi! Uh, yes? Tell me, why aren't you still Prime Minister? That natural apathy catch up with you? Ah, the spoils of peace. Refreshing having all of us together like this, no? Never thought I'd live to see the day. Who'd have ever thought Ogi and Valletta would end up together? <laughs> it appears that our military secrets have been leaked to your side. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I've also been given reports that your country has had an uprising. I trust the report given to us by Lloyd and Agent Shinozaki. As a matter of fact, I'd be honored to have you on board as my technical advisor. The problem is, we've reason to believe someone involved has a Gios. Precisely. I thought it best if the one who brought these child prodigies together in the first place could be the one to figure it out. Was that the wrong choice? Sorry, I thought it necessary. Provided Zero was safe. If you say so. Shanti, who knows? Perhaps one day I'll have the honor of attending the reception of your wedding. A nation known for its soldiers and its prophecies, and yet even they couldn't defeat him. I'm not so sure their motives are entirely political. One report in particular gives me pause. You don't mean the Lancelot. Are we not concerned that unit will be seen as a symbol of tyranny? Yes. Allow me to offer my congratulations. This is Canon Maldini from the table in the back. I don't believe you've had the pleasure of being... Hey, sis. I sent that brain code to Pudding like you asked me to. I know, I had a feeling you'd say that, so I already sent another one. Implicating Zilkstan in Nanali's abduction is nothing to be impulsive about. <laughs> I'm a little insulted you'd go to the Earl of Pudding before coming to me. None of this makes sense. Why would such a small backwater country insist on turning the whole world against them? Ah. And you can't share the details? That would explain why you called in Shanti and the others. It was absolutely the wrong choice. Send a different set. That's the truth. Oh, oh, oh. Where may I ask is Shestal? Who would have thought Tamaki had such a flair for business? It's a good thing for a man to settle down. Matrimony builds character. And what of the search for Nonali and Zero? Wonder what that's all about. Something must be keeping C2 busy. Shirley! <gasps> Perez! How was Zilstan? 
Oh, well, you definitely made the right call. Yeah? How's that? You haven't heard? It's all over the internet. They're locking up foreigners left and right. You're lucky you're not behind bars right now. Huh? This is Millie Ashford, reporting from Zilkstan, a kingdom universally renowned as a nation of warriors. Impregnable as a fortress, Zilkstan has fended off countless invasions for centuries. Its soldiers are held in high regard by military experts, hired as mercenaries the world over. Comprised of 90% desert with precious few resources to go around, Zilkstan's chief export is entirely represented by their fighting force and military technology. It appears the Royal Guard has just returned from a reconnaissance mission. I'll see if I can have a word. I'm sure you're doing your best to unravel the so-called puzzlement at the Hashfest refugee camp. Care to comment on the missing WHA workers? In particular, honorary consultant Nanali? I don't know what happened, but things got kind of dicey, so we decided to come back home. Oh man, apparently they're gonna start shutting down the airports! Oh no, what's all the fuss about, sweet? Thanks, we're fine. Someone's just a little cranky is all. Yeah. Year two of the Koa era. Approximately one year since the death of Emperor Lelouch at the hands of Zero. Owing to the newly reorganized Federation of Nations, the world celebrates an unprecedented time of peace. A time history will remember as the miraculous tomorrow, when the threat of war and terrorist insurgency all but disappeared. And yet, simmering beneath the surface, conflict continues to lurk in the hearts of mankind. The miraculous tomorrow will inevitably pass.